Good morning from sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at our RV park, just packing up. We gotta be out of here in about an hour and a half. We're headed towards California. We're gonna be setting up shop in Los Angeles tonight. It's about four to five hours from here. Pretty looking forward to it. Oh, now I've gotta get this truck hooked up to this trailer. And pull it on out of, it is hot. Like, it is hot, like, my hand is burning just being on. This right here, this is hot. I could get used to this though. I could definitely, definitely get used to this. You guys like my new shirt? Merka. I also got new swimming trunks and new sandals. You know, you gotta go all out when you spend this much time in the sun. Well, we pretty much got this thing all packed up here. Ready to go. Everything packed up on that side. Except for the stairs I need to Oh yeah, I need to get the stairs yet. Then we'll be off to California. Goodbye, Las Vegas. Need to clean these bugs off sometime yet. Put these in here. Oh, there we go. There in there like that. And we are ready to go. Well, we're about to leave Las Vegas. One last look at the strip here during the day. We didn't actually go and tour around at night. We'll have to do that another time. I wonder how far in here we gotta go. I'm not sure. In 900 meters, turn left on West Russell Road. I wonder if they give helicopter rides? They do. Yeah, it's a big thing in Vegas. Yeah, we should have done that. Mm -hmm. Next, Next time. time, maybe. Yeah. There is something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day So I've been trying out this new Falcon Eye dash cam today and it's been working really well. I'm gonna be filming a review on that from California. It's like the best, it is honestly the best dash cam I've ever seen and I'm gonna put it in my truck and use it in my truck all the time as soon as I get back on the road in the semi. It's been great on this trip so far. So many options, 1080p. Oh, I'll do the review on it and I'll link it to you and I'll talk about it in my videos when it's ready so that you guys can go and check it out too. Uh, there's going to be links to where you can get it. And you can actually get 5% off using a coupon code from my channel, which I'm going to give you in that video. So just wait for that coupon code, and I'll give you the link, and you can go and get 5% off one of these dash cams as well. I'm just testing it out now first to learn how it works and whatnot so I can tell you uh, all about it and see how good it is, see if I even like it. And so far, I really, really do like it. So yeah, I'll film the review and uh, shoot that coupon code over to you. Diesel, what do you think of the trip so far? We're in a desert, man. We're in a desert. We're here in California. We just crossed into California. Look at this, the California desert. Right there. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. It is 112 degrees Fahrenheit right here. It is hotter than the surface of hell here in California. And it's nothing yet. We keep talking to the locals here yet. And they're like, ha, 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 you came a month or two earlier. Just wait till July and August, then it'll be hot. I wanna go and tour through, you know, like Beverly Hills. I wanna go see the Hollywood sign. I know you can't get right up to it. I wanna go hike up to it. Uh, she has a couple of things she wants to go see. Uh, so we'll most likely just be touring around until Thursday when VidCon starts. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have VidCon. Uh, I know Jade and John are going to be in California around us there on Thursday as well. We might get a chance to go and hang out with them for a bit, fingers crossed. And we'll be going to Disneyland one of these days too. Well, you know we're in California when we've been at this bumper to bumper for what, a good half hour now already? At least, yeah. And we're still 250 kilometers, so I'd say 150 miles or so from Los Angeles. 
couple of towns and cities in between, but I don't know where all these people are going. It's obviously a crazy weekend in Vegas because they're all going home now. It's amazing how many people are passing everybody on the shoulders on both sides and then cutting in further down the road. A lot of these trucks are ready, especially that one with the big American flag up there. He's been blocking them from using the shoulder. That's what I'd do. Yeah. That's what I would do. It's infuriating. Yeah, it's all these people, no patience. We all gotta wait. Why are you so special that you get to go cut around everybody on the shoulder? Those are supposed to stay open for like ambulances, police, fire trucks. So at least when these trucks block that lane, they leave enough space that they can get out of the way for emergency vehicles. But Truckers are a lot smarter than people give them credit for. Yeah, not that we're biased or anything. <laughs> Well, we'll see how long we're in. As far as I can see, all the way up those hills in front of us there, bumper to bumper. Welcome to California. Hope you don't gotta pee. Now that I mention it, you gotta go. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> good thing we took our bathroom with us. <laughs> all we gotta do is pull off the freeway and there you go. I wish I had a bathroom in the semi. That would be cool. Well, we found ourselves on a nice little desert oasis of some sort. That sun is relentless. Yeah, we're gonna let the weasel enjoy it a bit too. Are you tired of the air conditioning? Would you like to go outside in the heat? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. What do you think, Diesel? What do you think? Hot enough for you or what? Hot enough for you? So where are all the trees, man? Where am I supposed to pee? Gotta be some here somewhere. Well, I see some shrubs over there. Hopefully there's no snakes over there that are gonna chase us. Relentless heat. So we are close to Barstow, California, I think. Uh, getting close, probably about a half hour away or so still yet. Nice little place here though, eh? So all of the traffic was because there was an accident on the other side of the highway and people were rubbernecking. Unbelievable amount of people on the road. Yet there's no like civilization around here really. Just empty desert. Where are all these people coming from? That's a lot of people. Agricultural inspection. All vehicles must stop. I think this is the fruit police. <laughs> Go up to the window, he'll come up to you all mean looking. You got any fruit? California inspection. All right. Well, this is so strange. I've never seen anything like this. This is weird. I know, I know that they are very picky on their uh, their fruit coming in here. Let's see what he wants. We don't have any fruit. I think that's what they want. Coming from Manitoba, Canada. You guys coming in with any fruits or vegetables at all? No. Any plants? No plants. Animals besides so the dog? Just the dog, yeah. Any firewood in the camper? No. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. So well, that was easy. Yeah, it's sort of like every state and province of Canada also has, has that law. You're not allowed to transport certain things between the provinces and states. California just chooses to enforce it a lot. <laughs> How do they know we don't have fruit though? What are they gonna go, go through our whole camper? I guess if we look suspicious enough, they'll go through our whole camper. And if we look nervous. Look nervous. Start sweating, carrying oh. any fruit, no. No, we do not have peaches in here. <laughs> that is not an apple. Just arriving here in Los Angeles or Anaheim or whatever, it's all the same to me. And we got low fuel. All right. Good timing. Good timing. We got about, oh, 10 miles, let's say, to where we're going to stop and set up. So hopefully the fuel will get us there. If not, I guess Britt's getting out to push. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. We have finally arrived in Anaheim, and it's setup time. Please ignore how dirty our trailer is. We didn't have time to go to Blue Beacon. We had to check in. We barely made it already. Yeah, we had less than an hour left before the office closed, so we had to hurry up. Feels good to be back here, that's for sure. <laughs> so we may have put the uh, awning a little bit low, but we still have to slide that out. We have troubles with the door when we jack up this side, the heavy side, the kitchen side, too far. 
We have trouble closing the door because the top won't close. So Jimmy something up, make it work. But pretty excited to be here. We need to get the AC running because I mean it's only 100 degrees as compared to 112 earlier. But I'm excited. Me too. Disneyland. Disneyland. Disneyland is right over there. We get to see the fireworks from right here every day.